how to join a meeting on Teams. You may have received an email with a link or telephone number on how to dial into a Teams meeting. Alternatively, you may simply have just been sent the link in a messaging app, such as Messenger. When you click on the link, you will have a few choices before joining the meeting. If you are using Firefox, you will be able to join the meeting, but you will not be able to take part. This means that you can't use video or audio. You can, however, open it in Microsoft Edge or in Chrome. The other option is to install the Teams app, which is free, safe and easy to do. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to install the Teams app, which is the best and most reliable solution. First, click on the Get the Teams app button. Click on Save. Your browser may be slightly different. If it asks you to run or save, the easiest option is to click on Run. Go to your Downloads. In Firefox, this is at the top right. On other browsers, it may be elsewhere. Chrome, it is usually at the bottom. You can press Ctrl and J to bring up the downloads on most browsers. Click on the Microsoft Teams download. This will install Teams automatically. Once it loads, you should see your webcam and a few other options. The first option is to enter your name. You can then choose whether to have your video on or off. You can even blur your background. And you can choose to mute your microphone if you don't want to talk. You are also able to click on the settings icon to change things if you would like to change your default webcam or microphone. Once you're happy, you can click on join meeting. It will then put you in a queue and the meeting organizer will need to allow you into the meeting. It will then connect you to the meeting. Now the meeting organizer on this call is just me, so there is no video as it is just a test call. But at here, at this point, you should be able to see the person and other participants in the meeting. You'll notice that when I move my mouse, a menu appears. This allows me to turn my camera on and off, to mute my microphone, and unmute my microphone. I can also share my screen if I wish, or just a window. I can do more actions such as showing the device settings to change the output device and microphone and webcam. I can show meeting details if I would like to invite anyone else. I can copy join info. I can enter full screen, stop the blur on my video, or turn off incoming video if your bandwidth is too low to be able to support it. You can also click on show participants and this will have a list of all the participants within the call. Just click on the hang up button when you're finished. If you accidentally press it, don't worry, you can click on rejoin to rejoin the meeting. Next I'm going to show you what will happen if you want to access it through Chrome or Edge or another supported browser. Once you click on the link, you will, get, you will be greeted with this screen. If you have Teams installed, it will often ask you whether you want to open it in Microsoft Teams straight away. Again, you are offered the option to download the app, which is recommended, or you can launch it in the app if you have already got it installed. If you want to continue with the web version, click on Join on the web instead. You will quite often get asked permission to use your microphone. Always press Allow. If you get this notification, Click on the lock icon here and make sure that the camera is set to allow. You can then enter your name and click on join now. If you would like to change the devices, again, you can change them on here. Someone will then let you into the meeting. The difference with the web version is that you're not able to blur your background. However, you are able to share your screen, but not select windows. You'll notice that there is a telephone number here to dial into the call from an ordinary telephone. The telephone number is a standard O2 number, which shouldn't cost you anything extra if you have calls included in your call package. If you're on your mobile, you can simply click on the number and it will dial it for you. I'm going to show you an example. When I dial the number... Welcome to the Audio Conferencing Centre. 
Please enter a conference ID, followed by hash. This is where you would enter the conference ID, highlighted here. Followed by the hash key. If you're the meeting organiser, press star now. After the tone, please record your name and then press hash. Neil. Please wait for the leader to admit you to the meeting. Thank you for your patience. You can then wait for the organiser to admit you to the group. You're now joining the meeting. Neil. Is now joining. You're now in the meeting and you can talk normally. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that this tutorial has been useful. If it has, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be Don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting more videos hopefully every week. Don't forget that during the coronavirus outbreak, I will be doing a quiz each Friday at 7 p.m. So if you subscribe and hit the bell icon, you'll be notified when that's on. Bye.